What is going on, everyone? My... Oh my god. <coughs> oh, wow. We did. Let's try that again. Okay. What is going on everyone? My name's Boyd and I'm back with some more Age of Mythology, the Titans action spawning in the bottom of the map in the blue color. Playing as Uranus, it's a magic. His opponent today in the red color playing as Isis is Aya. The map is Blue Lagoon. It's a best of seven host, uh, best of seven show match between these two hosted by um, Trustify. So thank you so much to Trustify for that. And yes, we have the first win for Aya taking that one on the Tundra with some really nice Aranos play. It's kind of a flipped matchup here, except Aya is going for the Isis and Magic is going for the Aranos. Isis is one of those gods that has like options against Aranos, has like a strategy as like a plan. And if you execute that plan really well, um, you kind of just win. But Aranus players have been theory crafting and, and trying different strategies out and trying to beat said strategy. So then Isis players have to then go back into the drawing board and say, okay, well that doesn't work anymore. What else can we do? Um, so we'll see what I is gonna try here, but the strategies, generally speaking, is just you fast heroic through Nephthys. You get the cheaper priest upgrade, and then you make priest um, priest siege, and you just ancestors eclipse, and you beat whatever classical army that Aranos can muster. Um, so it's a thing. It's really good. And on Blue Lagoon as well, with all forward gold mines, uh, there's not a lot of options for Aranos to to hold on to these uh, so we'll see if if that becomes a, a point of contention or not uh, Magic's got these forward oracles and he's found out that oh, he's got some forward villages here or we will find that out at some point it's the point they just got here um, so this is going to be a bit of an issue for I uh, uh, the other option for well the big thing that Aranos has to do against Isis is hit this hunt Hit this hunt early and really slow down the heroic age. If you can slow down the one town center heroic age, it gives you more time to prepare for the priest siege push because it can't start until the heroic age comes. So that's a thing. Now I assume Magic's just gonna go. Yeah, he's just going for a standard build here. Zebra citizen temple comes in right now, and Magic is well on his way to. The next age now Aya on the other hand super hyper modern super hyper modern that's not exactly a thing but the super hyper modern build order for Isis and for a lot of the Egyptian gods is gonna be this this old school just put villages to food get the temple up as soon as you can build order in order to get out the temple I mean the town center now tell you what would be hilarious is if people started cutting hunting dogs in order to get to the classical age even faster so they could get a second town center even quicker. Imagine like a 3.30 advance time and getting the second town center up and, and being able to support the, the economy uh, when you can do that. That's next. That's what's next. I'm calling it. You, del you, get you delay hunting dogs until, until after you've got the town center. Or until after you get the yeah after you get the town sale. I, I feel like that's gonna be a thing now. <laughs> it should be a thing. How much? How, how much even is like the the upgrade for hunting dogs? Anyways, I'm actually interested now. My brain has just sparked an idea. Only thirty percent extra gather rate. <laughs> That's not worth it all. You get you get a hundred percent extra gather rate if you have two town centers. Big brain. Don't listen to Hagrid. He doesn't know what he's talking about. 
He's just a incredibly good player with monumental amounts of knowledge in this game. Okay, so counterbarracks. Two counterbarracks coming up for Magic. So exactly the same build that Arya did to him. We'll see if he goes for the fast shenanigans. We do have Oracle or the Prometheans coming in. There's already a priest here for Arya. And Magic is just trying to micro this around and do a little bit of damage here. The <laughs> priest getting some heals in. But uh, Arya's not yet in the classical age. He's going to be a while away. And the Prometheans will run for it. And there is the Rhino. More dying and it's looking like Magic not being able to push off this. I think it would be it would have been worth it for Magic to get the Oracle pressure here. You know what I mean? If the Oracle pressure was in, then he could have pushed off this location here, which would have been huge, but obviously he didn't know about it. So that's not going to happen. Or the term are going to the wrong side as well. Maybe the the um, the priest hasn't spotted this. Oh, he spotted the dead gazelle, so he doesn't know about this. Um, we do see a town center now coming up for magic. Aya, on the other hand, he's just putting up the armory. So this is one town center, fast heroic from the ISIS. The term are going to be coming in and spotting. There's only four villages on gold, five villages on gold. Spots the armory. Nice armory coming up for Arya to block the terma. That's going to force a little bit more damage out onto this. Probably even going to lose one of these hero terma that's running through here. Another armory coming down as well. And Aya has been able to pick up one hero terma with that ghost building there. So nice play. He's going to be uh, super pleased with that one there. Terma going to come over and check the settlement. See, it's not going up. Knows what's in store for him. The second town center might even be worth it to just delete this in order to start preparing for the pressure that's going to be coming in. Sphinx is in the base of magic right now, who is doing a ton of damage onto the economy, but there's already a hero term over here to push that one away. And now the hero term is pushing these villages off the food, but I are already at 1300 food right now. He's just a little bit short on the gold mine. Probably didn't quite, um, probably didn't quite think that he would have all of that hunt together. He would get pushed off or something and, and have to wait a little bit there. But the armor is just about to be up. One more village is going to come out and then we will see the heroic age. The Sphinx is onto the town center as well. Another little reason why it would have, wouldn't have been a terrible idea to just delete this and just stay one town center. But there's Sphinx ha uh, has been pushed off yet again by the hero Terma. And we are seeing Magic going to be trying to take out some more obelisks and shut down the vision situation. A second temple now coming up for Aya and Nephthys is on its way. More houses are coming up. And we'll see what happens now. Military barracks now coming up for magic. He realizes he needs to get that going. He needs to get as many Mermillo out as he can. But Mermillo, look at them. They've only got 10% um, pierce armor. And that basically means that priests, while they only deal 3.3 damage, the 10% pierce armor only really takes that down to 3.2 damage. So it's not that much of a difference. So they're basically dealing true damage to them. Um, and the priest are just going to overwhelm a Mermillo army. That's why you can't really build Mermillo on mass against the priest. On top of that, um, the Terma, they do no damage as well. They only do 4.4 damage to a 99 HP unit. Even though the priests have 0% pierce armor, these uh, Terma really don't do that much against them. And on top of that, he has to deal with the Ancestors Eclipse that's going to come into him as well. And there it is. The spirit of Mart coming through. And that's going to be priest and pharaoh healing rate going up by 100%. But most importantly, is 30% less gold on the priests here. Shockwave coming down somewhere. Probably trying to kill the Sphinx. He does manage to kill that Sphinx off. So that's pretty big. That means that it's not going to be affected by the Eclipse right now. And all the units are getting spanned out for magic. He knows how important it is for him to get these out. He's actually cancelled out Terma. Only going to be making Mermilla at this point. Magic's actually got 10 villages on, um, on food right now. He's spamming 
uh, Mermillo from two town centers at this point. Not two town centers, two military barracks. Maybe even worth it to just go for a third military barracks just to really get that spam going. But maybe he'll hit the 130 population before the attack comes. Um, looks like second town center coming down for Aya. Ancestors Eclipse onto this location though. That's super bizarre. We do see the market up. Is this like a fast fast mythic here from Aya? Could be a fast mythic. This is a really, really strong fake from him if it is. Because he's only made like, what, eight priests? And that's really forced uh, magic to play a certain way. These Ancestors Eclipse are going to be falling. And even though they're all over the place, the uh, the Scorpion Man going to be able to get away with his life while the Mermilla gets picked off. These units are going to have to get into their location there. The priests are able to defend this gold mine for the time being. Villagers trying to get the town center in the middle of the map as well. And look, we'll see if, um, if Magic can react to this one right now. Magic, he's... Trying to build Mermillo out. He's not building the Terma anymore, which wouldn't be a bad idea. But we'll see if he can fight this one off. The Scorpion Man coming in. There's so many priests right now. Magic has to kind of... Oh, he's going to go for the... If he can get the Pharaoh. He's decided to not go for it. He needs, he needs to kill the Pharaoh to slow this uh, down center down. But the Pharaoh going to be running away. More units coming in for Magic. There's so many priests right here. And this Pharaoh is going to be able to get away with his life. 11 HP left. Hero and Mermillo are up. Going to be picking off these units. We do see the Valor coming down. Magic sitting at 91 population. Aya sitting at 75. But the kill death is surely in the favor of Aya at this point. With all of those priests. Those are really nice ancestors. Eclipse usage there in order to grab this forward town center. And we are seeing that Magic has to retreat away from here at this point. So nice play from him. Um, but I think this all just came down to Magic just went for the fight a little bit too early. And now there's just this ball of priest, which his units can't get onto. And beyond that, Magic's going to really struggle to get to the next age because he's got no more hunt left. Like, he, there's no hunt on his side of the map. He has to transition into wood, make Termor out as well. Um, it maybe would have even been a better idea to just... I mean, he doesn't really know what the plans were here, but we'll see. Maybe go to, to the Heroic Age instead of all of those Mermilla would have been a, an option to start making out Arcus or something of that matter. Because if you get an Arcus ball, it's surely stronger than a Priest ball. Uh, and you just have to pick off the Siege Towers with a couple of villages or something like that. But now it's going to be this Ford Town Center has been claimed. Oh, you're going to have complete and utter map control here. We'll see if Magic can get some raids in here. If he can get some juicy raids, he may be able to come back into this game. We do see the Siege Towers are now making their way in. Priests are waddling over to this location. Going to be trying to get some damage. This is the gold mine that Magic's on, but Magic still has a gold mine in his home base. And he still has this gold mine over here. So no problems where that is concerned. And you see the raids coming in. Really nice raid has jumped onto this, but the priests are already over here. The priests do take a while to take off out these uh these villages here. And meanwhile, while this is going on, the siege tower is coming in, gonna be taking out a temple. Magic has not noticed this one just yet. The priests have been picked off on this location. This army trying to pick off more villagers here, which he probably should continue doing, but he really needs to pull, pull the villager off. And there we go. The villager has been pulled off. Going to start jabbing away at this siege tower, who will be immediately tasked to retreat. Siege towers here, tanking down this damage of the Terma, because well, why not? I guess the Mermilla will be able to pick off this siege tower as well at some point. He's down to 20 HP, but will be healed back. It's a full HP very, very soon. The Scorpion Man are back out, and the Mermilla trying to take this one off without any hero units. Ah, uh, heroizing a hero Terma instead of a Mermilla. I guess he doesn't have the food to do it, so he had to, but it always hurts seeing that because of how good the hero Mermilla are. We are going to have Arya making a march forward now. The Siege Tower is moving in. I'm not sure he can defend against this. Magic is sitting at 130 pop, but he's all over the place with it. And this is like concentrated pop here. This is so many priests. And Arya is going to be full population as well right now. You can even throw it out at the town center on the back of this push. 
And Magic's kind of just ignoring it, just going for villagers here. This is the only gold mine that he kind of has secured even. So this is a, not a half bad idea, but he's going to be losing his town center. He has to bring these villagers forward and try and keep his town center alive is really the only option he has. Just bring all these villagers forward and just do it. He's not going to be able to pick them off that fast. I've got like, what is it, 34% pierce armor? Nice shockwave, but would have been a better idea to shockwave them into the villagers that he brought and tried to pick these guys off. Well, as you see, one villager has fallen there. Town center is about to fall as well. And Aya, this made this push work and Magic just not able to defend against it while making his own push. Coming around for a surround on the back of the priest, maybe gonna be enough. He's got a lot of Mermillo, but it, with the Scorpion Man as well, and all the siege towers here, it's gonna be a difficult task for him to continue pushing. Or to continue holding here in, in this push. And now I going after the Siege Tower as well. Hero Villager is going to be jamming away at the Siege Towers. Does a lot of damage to them. But more turn are coming in. The Priests are getting... So actually, no, they're not getting one. They're still at like their max amount here. And when one Priest dies, it just immediately gets rebuilt. Because of how much gold and how little gold they cost. Only 70 gold. When you think about it, um, compare 70 gold Priest to a... Um, what's this, a 90 resource Terma. So now these are like super cost efficient as well as being really strong. Um, and he's gonna continue pushing. Siege Tower's now gonna claim all of these military buildings and Magic has to kind of run away at this point. Um, and the villagers gonna be moving forward, taking the hometown center of, um, of Magic here. And we do see more Mermillo coming in, but they get, look at that. Just like four volleys from a bunch of priests and he's down to no HP. And they just, they just come so fast. They come so fast and these Mermillo just die so quickly. And the term are coming in to try and pick off some of these villages. The term do take very reduced damage though. You can see that a bunch of these priests are focusing them. So they're mostly focusing on Mermillo, but this town center should be able to get up. More siege towers have been picked off. Sort of a win for Magic. This is looking very dire at this point. And Ayo is looking like he's going to be taking game number two at any moment here. But Magic is sneaking a town center though. He's, he's, a, he's a fighter, that's for sure. Um, he's still able to produce units. Like he's not got a lot of them, but he's able, able to produce them. Um... <laughs> but it's going to be four town centers to two town centers, even if he gets this town center up. And the villagers getting pushed off here. Uh, surely Arya just makes a push now over onto this town center. More military barracks trying to get up for magic, but magic's lost out these farms at the back as well. There are a lot of resources for Atlantia. They cost 200 wood, um, which is because they don't have any drop off point. Uh, but. It's a big thing. They cost so much wood and you can't use them anymore and get pushed off them. Always going to be really safe with your farms. Probably would have been a better idea to hide them in the back here if you knew that the, the all-in was coming at some point. And now we have four town centers. Now I just got two town centers now. Um, and now he's going to be making a move. Where is he going to go? Is clean up this town center first? That's what Magic wants though, he wants to have that as a distraction, but potentially just gonna go for this town center. Would be the right idea, just walk straight through this way. You don't need to make it, don't need to be fancy with it, just straight line, right into the military barracks here. Magic now sitting at 89 population, and I are sitting at 172, more than, almost more than double, almost double population for Aya right now. Uh, does he have max villages? He still doesn't have max villages, which is a testament to the fact that he had so many priests. He just like over militarized and he's just able to make that push happen with all of those units. Now the siege towers are gonna be taking down the military barracks and going for the town center next. The citizen are pulled in here. Do manage to pick off one town center without losing any citizen. Not one town center, one siege tower without losing any citizen. Moving on to the town center next, gonna be going for that one. But the uh, a citizen popping out, coming in, popping out, and that's the way you wanna do it. But we do see some villagers coming over here, trying to build a Midgar stronghold onto the gold mine, but the villagers will be able to pick off the citizen, even though they have 
They've got a lot of HP at 160, but the villagers do a lot of damage back to them with 80 damage a shot. And it's not going to be a good fight for you if you are an Atlantean citizen. While this is all going on, the Siege Tower is going to be taking down this location. Pharaoh even in here doing loads of damage. And we are going to be seeing that this town center does fall right now. Thank you so much for the tier 2. Shelter Island, welcome, welcome. Enjoy the emotes, my dude. And it's looking like magic is gonna be tapping out here. GG, well played by Aya, executing this Isis strat very, very well. It's almost like he threw this market up as a little distraction. He wanted to have it for um for the uh, the temples, I guess. Like, to, to trade the resources, but he also faked it a little bit. The Ancestors Eclipse allowed him to get this middle of the base instead of having to use Ancestors Eclipse um, elsewhere, which is really, really smart. So, nice play from Aya. Up 2-0 to zero right now. This is best of 7, so Magic can make an easy comeback. You have to get to 4 games to win this series. So, we'll see if... Um, if Magic can make that comeback happen or not. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. We'll get the next game going really soon.